Oh, yeah. oh, look, he had his camera all along. Oh, he just put it in pocket. <laughs> yeah, I've got all sorts of things in that pocket. Yeah, I'll put that on there, just, just for the sound. You won't be able to get much of that. Come a bit closer, maybe. We're going to be offering that on eBay. Starting at $32,000. Thirty two grand is yours, it's on video. We'll call it something else, you don't want the Lord to stop it. <laughs> Alright, so what are we, what are we, um, I've forgotten completely what we're talking about now. The eighth, Peter. Huh? Peter. Alright, the, uh, the French Jew that was going to be um, the Pope. Ooh. The Jesuits killed him. So that got in Ratzinger. Ooh. Now, the reason is that in the book of Revelation 17 11, you've got a period of time from the first day that Rome recognised it as being a city state. That was 1929, 11th of February, which is 84 years later, Ratzinger right, resigns. So 84 is a gem tree for Emmanuel. So you've got Christ, Christ coming at you. If the French dude had got in, he'd have been a Jew in charge of the Church of Jesus. Ooh. That ain't going to happen. Ooh. So. Now we've got Pedro Fernandez de Quiros, who declared the south of the globe, including all of South America, Australia, Africa, uh, in the name of Jesus. And that says it all. Mm. He didn't do it for Spain on a Spanish ship, and he was a Portuguese. No. So he claimed all of the Southlands to the, and that's the Southland of the Holy Spirit, mm. Esperanto. So that gives us Francis, who is now Francis, and we've got Aloysius, and a Golightly all out of the, you certainly make a Golightly out of their names. And um, we now have 1.2 billion Catholics, and uh, hundreds and hundreds and millions down in South America. Mm. And um, all they're interested in is they don't know what Protestantism is. Ooh. But they're trying to get in there, but they don't, have no idea what it is. So you take a native down in Mexico or uh, Yucatan, something like that, have no idea Ooh. what a Protestant is. But they do know what Jesus is, and that's all they're waiting for, and he's a Catholic. Ooh. So if there wasn't any doubt, he's a Catholic. And they don't expect him to come from South America. Mm. See, another another Mexican doesn't impress another Mexican, mm. but a, a strange old character that's actually the King of England floating around saying he's Jesus is a, a dream come true in the sense that it's not one of them. Mm. It's, also it's a total abstract, mm. sudden emergence of something that is so powerful mm. that it has no ethnic preference. Mm. All he's looking for is righteousness, mm -hmm. and that's what God would do if there was on the application form the local Herald paper. <laughs> God wanted. <them. laughs> right. My camera's not working either, I don't think. No, it just switched itself off. Doing all sorts of strange things. What's that? The cameras we got there. Look at the strange thing they do. Mm -hmm. Now, bread. Over to bread. He's okay. leaving tomorrow, sadly, but gladly. Yeah, it's definitely a glad sad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's put you in the in the seat here. Yes, you, we you, will cross-examine you now. Okay. You might have to trigger me with some questions. <laughs> <laughs> All light there. What's that one? That's not working. Um, All right. We don't have one there. My oh, not there. Subject. <clears throat> Oh.
Well, we're going to have a sing along instead. <laughs> All right. Kumbaya. Hey, actually, we did have some good sing along. Thriller night. <laughs> the sound of music. To me, that's the beauty of it all. It's the fact that we're family. And I came here with an open mind and really didn't have my mind wrapped around how numbers line up and distances with pyramid math and Bible prophecies and things like that. But I found the Christ spirit here more so than I ever have anywhere and I've been thoroughly impressed by everything and, and amazed and inspired just to see how much Brian and Martha have accomplished and Rue and Karen but I mean everything everything that I could possibly imagine that a Christ-like character would embody, I see here, from healing people in other countries, going out of one's way to help people and show compassion, not just throughout those many years and adventures that I got the pleasure of hearing about and seeing video footage of, but just to me, too, personally, being treated like a member of a family. In it's a really clever method they've got to draw people into the cult. It, it got me. <laughs> so I'm, I consider myself a, an eternal member. So as long as I don't have to eat Vegemite. The crack, the crack suicide squad? <laughs> you got to admit the membership's <laughs> cheap. You've got to get a couple of hundred thousand people to commit suicide for <clears throat> work to gain attention. <laughs> uh, that's, funny. that's the other good thing about being here, the humor. I, it can't be Christ-like without some humor. I take things too seriously. <clears throat> it's not nearly as much fun. Well, and this whole Pope conversation is fascinating, but it's also encouraging for me to see and read what I've read about what Benedict has had to say, his, his sincere curiosity and his positive responses. I find that to be very encouraging. I find that I really admire the guy, so if you're watching it, I, there you go, Holy Father. I consider you a friend, even though we haven't met. And I'd say probably the most profound thing that I've realized in this experience thus far, although there's a lot of layers to the onion that I've unraveled here, but the most powerful thing I'd say to summarize would be the power of love. It's that simple. And well, I come out of the United States where there's so much activism against the government and so much wickedness in the government that it becomes a, a pointing match that, oh, it's this guy or it's that guy, it's, it's, it's Barack Obama. Well, it is, but the point being, people are always pointing the finger of blame and they're, they're upset about the corruption, but they, don't, they haven't learned to comprehend the solution to it and how powerful just having a heart full of love and compassion is. And I've seen these guys, all of them, Brian being the leader, I've seen them, from everything I've witnessed, walking in the face of the greatest opposition that I could possibly imagine. I've seen their internet trolls, the, the people that stalk them and <clears throat> heard all their accounts of troubles in other countries just trying to help people. But the beautiful thing I've discovered is here we all are. We're all smiling. We're having a good time. Rejection never felt so good. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've learned that it doesn't matter. You have enough compassion, you project that, and reality can only reflect that back to you because that's part of the nature of his design. And once you, you realize that and start doing it, projecting only compassion, and sometimes compassion has to give an ass-whooping to certain Zionists that are 
murdering people. That's just part of the compassion. But when you have that, you're untouchable. I mean, we're talking about the guy who served a notice to the Queen of England and has written numerous accounts of information about the illegitimacy of the Zionist banking structure. And it's all been done out in the open, that nothing's hidden. It's all on the World Wide Web. And how come he's not in prison? <laughs> that pretty much sums it up. Because there is the Christ spirit right there, walking in Brian. It's that simple. So anyway, but more so than that, <clears throat> I've realized that although he's the, the big kahuna, here is also the Christ spirit, right here, right there, the guy with the camera, and the wife, Mrs. Christ, <laughs> and Karen. It's, it's all, we're all the Christ spirit, if we choose to be, so. Anyway, I'm really excited to see how everything unfolds with Benedict and, and the newly elected Pope, too. I definitely can see Christ's spirit in the both of them. It's kind of a bummer I have to go back to Utah tomorrow. <laughs> Deep into the heart of Zion, <laughs> the mm. fake Zion. <clears throat> I'll walk with a smile there. But you have your, your chair to go back to. Mm. That's right. Yes. I've right. got a couple of good friends there. That, yeah. that you want a baby on. daughter? Mm. That's right, and a little yep. girl that, that I love. Yeah, you're going to have your own tribe happening over there, mate. Look out. Plus, there's going to be artwork going on when I get there. Yeah, mm. totally. Have to have to design the stuff for the Ark of the Covenant mobile. <laughs> 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 and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Mm. I probably won't sleep for the next couple days. <laughs> you know, I'll probably sit at the airport instead of getting a hotel when I get to Brisbane and watch Watching videos. Watch about 12 hours of videos <laughs> that I got off your hard drive. Well, uh, what, what's your take on what I was talking about, the Jesuits, how they uh, knocked off the French uh, uh, cardinal that was going to take uh, the Pope's job. What would have what been is this on, election? What is my take on it? He would have been yeah. up for this um, election. It seems as if the Zionists maybe have used that as a, as a false flag operation of sorts to, to demonize the Jesuits right. and, and, and make the general public get the assumption that they're the ones pulling the puppet strings. But at the same time, I, it seems to me that the Jesuits are a very devoted group of people and well to summarize in my opinion I think they just need to have the right guy given the commands mm. it's, it's sitting right there but to me it's that simple mm. you, you get the whole structure on economics that you've written up basic God, it's all in one page the Vatican three what was it 49 points mm. there that's pretty much it. Get them onto the hat. Get get the orders that they need to be getting, and I think the rest will just fall into place. Well, that's what I'm saying to the popes. This is the, that's why I gave it to them. Do it. Yeah. And of course, no, uh, I agree. His Holiness said that it's so simple, straightforward. I agree mm. with it. It just makes sense. It just makes sense. Said. It makes sense. beautiful sense. Mm. Mm. So it's the ultimate chess move against the beast, the yeah. great whore. And of course today, the sunlight for Rome is uh, espousal. Is the church, is the bride of mm. Christ. And they, they've, they have proclaimed themselves to be, they believe themselves to be mm. the bride. And they are, whereas the... And they're resting. Mm. They really have devoted themselves. Mm. And hence the attacks. Mm. Oh. Chiba's got something she wants to say. Ah. What is it, Chiba? I'm climbing up the screen again like a naughty girl. What's she doing? Oh, 
Climb out of the screen again. <laughs> oh, she's in between the door and the screen. <laughs> she's being quite funny tonight. <laughs> Much on eBay, I think I'm snagging it. <laughs> 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 the camera at least had enough battery to get that little. Oh, it's, it really is annoying that little camera. I mean, they, my cameras have a mind of their own. They sometimes they work, and then they'll switch themselves on and off. And uh. it, you'll hear it in the middle of the night and be going on and off, on yeah. and off, on and off. <laughs> and you go down trying to make it go, and it won't go. <laughs> So I put it away for about two months and it come good again. And all of a sudden it starts flicking away in the basket uh, two months later. <laughs> <laughs> it's just in there now at the moment, emotional. There is film on it that's been taken. How big is Sounds like somebody's getting hurt. Really 